Hey guys, it's your girl Kendi. Today we're playing Slender of the Eight Pages. I don't know, I, I just wanted to play something that was nostalgic to me. Something old, people haven't seen in a while, so... Yeah, we're gonna be playing a few Slender games. Parsec Productions presents... The one that started it all. Kind of. Slender the Eight Pages. Collect all eight pages. Yeah, that's the basic premise of this game, is just collect eight pages and avoid Slenderman. So for those who don't know, Slenderman is like a tall, is a tall, pale, humanoid person in a suit with supernatural powers. So here we come to our first roadblock. Do we go left or right? Left, right, left, right. Let's go left, because left is always the right way to go. And don't worry, these pages aren't placed on like a random tree. That would that would be absolute hell. No, there. You just have to follow the path, find landmarks, and there the pages are usually at those landmarks. If they were placed on a random tree, then this would take forever. Oh yeah, let's definitely knock this page out first. This is the bathroom, which is arguably the most scariest part of the entire game, because instead of being in an open forest, you're in a tight corridor. And as you play this game and get more pages, Slenderman gets faster, so it's really best to knock this page out first before, you know, the, the terror happens. Because you don't want to be stuck in here with a super fast slender slender man when you're on like seven pages. By the way, there is ten landmarks and there's two each game where a page doesn't spawn, so... Imagine you're just wandering this bathroom for a long time trying to find a page. You're on seven pages and you're trying to find the page and it's just not in here. It's important to not necessarily rush, but try to get the pages done quick, because I believe Slenderman spawns on the first page, but he can spawn earlier if you don't collect a page for about three minutes. Of course, if that happens, he's really slow, but he's still around, so, you know. Best to knock the page out. Alright, so there was no page in here. It's a good thing we knocked this place out first because, like I said, we don't want to get stuck here later on trying to find the page and it's not here. Also, sorry if I'm turning my flashlight off and on a lot. I'm trying to save its battery because, believe it or not, the flashlight can run out in this game. So it's important to save the battery. If I'm correct, the pages glow, I think. I'm not sure. Like, not necessarily glow, but like lighting doesn't affect them, so 
you'll be able to see them in the dark. It's really good that, um, you know, if this place doesn't have a page, then at least I knocked out the two places that, oh, there it is. Okay. Don't look or it takes you. So now you hear that thudding. Slender Man has now officially spawned. And that thudding is going to happen for a while. It happens for the rest of the game, actually, until we either die or get all eight pages. So here's some rocks. Again, sorry if there's noise in the background. I, I have no control over that. So, is there a page on these rocks? No? Okay, let's go. Where am I? Oh! See, that slight static means Slender Man is nearby. Specifically, it means we're looking right at him, so it's important to go. I think there's actually a strategy to avoiding Slender Man, like, all you have to do is get him behind a tree, because when you're looking at him, he can't move, but it also drains your health by making the static appear, so if you get him behind a tree, then the static doesn't appear, but he still, um... He still can't move, so then you can just back away. A lot of people say you shouldn't look back in this game, and I do agree with that. But at the same time, I don't, because while it does static, if, if he's far away, then it doesn't affect you as much. And it stops him from moving. So, I feel like you should only not look behind you if you know that he's close. Like, if you know- OH! Okay! I did not think he would try to get me on one page, but here we are. Like, I thought he'd be at his least aggressive, but you guys saw how close he was. He was close enough to slap my behind. Now where is this next page? I can't find it. Oh. You know what, let's actually try the tree thing. Let's get him in my sights and use this tree. Nope, that's not working. Not working. Wait, that's the bathroom. I'm back here. Am I going to lose on one page?
I better not lose on one page. Like, at least, at least let me lose on two pages. Like, if I'm gonna lose this round, at least let it be with two pages. That thudding is getting annoying. So on the topic of Slender games, I am going to be playing other Slender games like uh, Slender Man Shadow, Slender's Woods, Slendy Tubby's 3's campaign because sadly the multiplayer servers got taken down. Not permanently, it's just because there was a bunch of hackers, so they're trying to make it more like hacker proof so that it won't happen again. You can read more about it on ZeoWorks' website. I have been wandering for a while on the path and I haven't found any landmarks. I haven't even found like a... Like some of the landmarks include a truck... Ooh, a tunnel! This is a landmark right here, obviously. So the page should be on the wall. Hello? Where's the page? Is it on the outside? It has to be on the outside. Where else would it be? If it's not here, then was it back in the bathrooms? Did I... Or was it on the rock? Was it somewhere I missed? Alright, let's just go through it one more time and... Oh, never mind, Slenderman's there. Let's run. Come on, Slendy, can you just be so kind as to leave me alone? I'm just trying to collect these papers, which I'm pretty sure weren't even in your forest. That just shows that someone... You live in a place filled with trees, Slendy, so... Someone's desecrating these trees, someone's killing these trees to make those papers, so... I'm getting rid of them and exposing the paper-making companies. I'm doing you a favor. Here's another. Okay, at least we can at least we can die knowing we got two pages. Who knows, Slenderman? Maybe these pages were made from trees in your forest. I'm Okay. That just happened. I'm doing you a favor, you know. I'm cleaning up. I'm sure you don't want to do it, so I'm sure you have places to be, people to hunt, so shouldn't you be thanking me for clean cleaning your forest for you? Climate change denying son of a... Amazing parent who I'm sure you they're very proud of you. Oh, nope. Okay, static means he's closer. I'm not going back in there. Unless I absolutely have to, we're not entering the bathrooms again. Oh! 
Actually, this is a perfect time to test my theory. Get him behind the tree. See, look, now he can't move. He's not making the static happen. So now we can just get out of here. Yeah! I don't know what happens when that static just immediately appears. Like, Where are you? Are you in my direction where I have to go? You can't just spawn in front of me. That's illegal. Yeah, I think he's in front of me. Wait, wait, no, no, no. He can't spawn di Oh, never mind. He can spawn directly in front of you. I was pretty sure he couldn't spawn directly in front of you, but apparently he can. And I'm only on two pages! You shouldn't be able to do that until like seven or five! At the very least five! Wait till I have five pages before you spawn directly in front of me, Slendy! Come on! Green light, red light. <laughs> Let's play games with them. Let's play some good old red light, green light. Green light, red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Ah! Okay, he doesn't want to play games. He doesn't want to play games. Let's go. I wish we could see our sprint meter. With like, you know, just just to know how much sprint we have left. My flashlight is getting really dim. I should turn it off. You know, save its battery a little. But at the same time, turning it off is basically impossible to see, so... Ooh, third one. Alright, now you can kill me, Slenderman. Now you can kill me. My flashlight's dead anyway, so you might as well. Like, you guys hear that? I'm pressing the flashlight button and it's not turning on. My flashlight is gone. Dead. You know, I might as well be too. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. You don't scare me anymore. You probably scared me when I was like six, but not anymore. You know what? I'm gonna get you behind a tree. There. Wait, am I stuck on a tree? You know, he's probably gonna kill me anyway for that. Hello. Goodbye. I'm dead anyway, so just... Just take me, Slender Man. Stop, stop taunting me. Just look. I got stuck on the tree. You had a perfect opportunity right there. You had the perfect opportunity to take me right there. Just, just kill me already, Slender Man. Come on. Come on. You just like to play with me. I mean, I get that you like to play with your victims and taunt them, but like, just end me already. Please?
Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to feast on my organs or hang me up in your house or whatever you do with your victims. Guys, please comment below what Slenderman does with his victims because I don't really know what he does. Does he display them? Does he... Does he hang them up in his forest for newcomers to find and get scared by, or does he eat them? What happens? Seriously, Slenderman, I get- I keep getting caught on trees. You have the perfect time to get me. Like, perfect opportunities right here. Priorities, Slendy. Priorities. Come on. Take me home, daddy. If I ever say that again, hit me. Oh. Thank you. Jeez. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe. Let me know if you see me next time. If you guys want to see me play more Slender, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.